Hello everyone and welcome back. Till the previous session, we have seen the different data transfer group of instructions in 8085 microprocessors. In today's session, I'm going to concretize the concepts that we have learned so far. So welcome to the session, data transfer instructions solve problems. And today we are in the part one of this series. So without any further ado, let's get to learning. Coming to the topic that we are going to cover in this session, today we will solve four problems on data transfer group of instructions. Now we are going to have one single question, that is we are supposed to distinguish between the following pair of instructions and as you can notice there are four pairs. So let's begin with the first one, that is LXIH, comma 1234H and LHLD1234H. So clearly, we are being asked to distinguish between this and this instruction. So let's begin with the first one that is LXIH, comma, 1234H. Now before proceeding ahead, let me clarify one thing. This is H which stands for the HL register pair. Now notice the mnemonic LXI. Load the extended register with immediate value. Now within the instruction itself, as you can notice, we are sending the 16-bit data. So this data is to be loaded into the extended register, that is the HL register pair. So when we are mentioning H in here, H is the register and L is the extension of that. On the other hand, this H is actually the notation that the value that we are sending in here is a hexadecimal value. So when the microprocessor will execute this instruction, within the HL register pair, the value which is immediately sent is going to be loaded. Notice, the higher order byte got loaded in the H register and the lower order byte was loaded in the L register. Now once this is done, to the microprocessor, the value residing inside the HL register pair will be treated as an address. It means that the microprocessor will know that within the memory, the memory location 1234, which already has been loaded in the HL register pair, is being pointed. So remember, LXIH1234H is going to load this immediate value within the HL register pair, which in turn will help us point to that exact memory location within the memory. So that's all about the first instruction. Let's focus on the second instruction that is LHLD1234H. Do you remember what LHLD stands for? Load HL register pair using direct addressing. And as you can notice, we are sending the initial address in the instruction itself. This is four digit hexadecimal, so clearly 16 bit binary, isn't it? Now, for this instance, let's suppose within the memory locations 1234 and 1235, in these two consecutive memory locations, we have got the values CD and AB respectively. Now, as I told you earlier, this instruction falls under the direct addressing mode category. So using this address, which is provided within the instruction itself, the microprocessor will know to which location it will point towards. Now focus on the mnemonic. Load HL register pair using direct addressing. So clearly, we are considering HL register pair. Now from the first memory location, which already has been mentioned in the instruction itself, the value inside it is CD. So this value will at first be loaded in the L extension of the HL register pair. And once this is done, the microprocessor will point to the next location, that is the consecutive memory location, which is in this case 1235. And the value inside it is AB. So this value will now be loaded in the H register of the HL register pair. So remember, execution of LHLD then A16, that is the address of 16 bits, it involves two consecutive memory locations, which in this particular case were 1234 and 1235. The contents within the first location will be loaded in the L extension, 
and the contents of the next location or the consecutive location is going to be loaded in the H part of the HL register pair. So that's all about the second instruction LHLD1234. If we are to talk about the differences using LXIH, 1234H, this particular value will be loaded inside the HL register pair. On the other hand, coming to LHLD 1234H, execution of this instruction will load some value within the HL register pair, but from the memory location 1234H. So this is the memory location for this instruction. However, 1234H in this instruction is the data which is going to be loaded in the HL register pair. So I hope it is clear to you. Let's now move on to the next question. B, that is LDAF900H and STAF900H. Let's now distinguish between these two. If we talk about the first instruction, that is LDAF900H, I hope you remember this instruction also falls under the direct addressing category. That is, we are mentioning the address within the instruction itself. And in this instruction, we are having the mnemonic LDA that is, load the accumulator with the content inside this particular memory location. Say within the memory location, F900, we have got the value AB. Now, if you look at this instruction, as I told you earlier, in this instruction, we are directly mentioning the address. So, from the instruction itself, the microprocessor will know to which memory location it has to go to. Thereafter, execution of this instruction, we load the value that is AB inside the accumulator register. So remember, LDAF900H, this instruction is going to load the value inside the F900 memory location into the accumulator register. On the other hand, if we talk about the next instruction that is STAF900H, I believe you remember the mnemonic's meaning in this case stored the contents of the accumulator in this particular location. Now, for an instance, say within the accumulator register, we have got the value 1, 2. Now, thereafter, if this instruction is executed, from the instruction itself, since it is a part of direct addressing mode, the microprocessor will know to which memory location it will have to point to. And the execution of this instruction will store the content of the accumulator, which is currently 1, 2, in that particular memory location. So this is all about the STAF900. Do remember, LDA loads the content of the accumulator with the value inside the specified address. On the other hand, STAF900 will store the content of the accumulator inside the location specified by the address. With this, we have covered the second question. That is, we have distinguished between these two instructions. Let's now focus on the third one. That is, MVIM, 8DH and LXIH, 008DH. So, we will begin with the first instruction. That is, MVIM, 8DH. Now, if you notice, this instruction falls under the instruction type MVIM, D8. Here, we are having the mnemonic MVI, which stands for Move Immediate. Now, what should we move in immediate fashion? Well, the 8-bit data, which is being provided in the instruction itself. And where is the destination? In this case, M, that is the memory location, which is to be pointed by the HL register pair. And for this instance, say within the HL register pair, we have loaded the value 1, 2, 3, 4. This will mean that within the memory, the location 1234 is being pointed. Now, this instruction can only be executed once we have some value in the HL register pair. Or in other words, once we have loaded the intended address inside the HL register pair. Now, the execution of this instruction will move this data, or to be precise, will copy this data into the memory location 1234. And as I told you earlier, this notation H is only telling us that this is an hexadecimal value. Or in other words, 8-bit binary. So that's all about the first instruction. Let's now see 
the second instruction that is LXI H comma 008 DH. Now in case of LXI H, this is also another instruction which falls under the immediate addressing mode. We are moving some data using immediate addressing mode into the HL register pair. So using this instruction, we are trying to load some immediate value inside the HL register pair and that value is a 16-bit data. Now in this case, the data is 008DH. So clearly, execution of this instruction will load the HL register pair with the value 008D. Now once this is done, the microprocessor will know that within the memory, the memory location 008D is being pointed by the HL register pair. So that is all about the second instruction. Now do remember, MVIM, 8DH will load this data, 8DH, into the memory location pointed by the HL register pair. So before execution of this instruction, we need to load the HL register pair with the intended address. On the other hand, execution of this instruction will load the HL register pair with this entire piece of data, which at later point of time will be considered as an address. So for the first instruction, 8DH is the data which is to be loaded inside the memory. And for the second instruction, 008DH is the actual address within the memory, which at later point of time will be used by the microprocessor. So with this, we have covered the third one as well. Let's now focus on the fourth question. That is, we are supposed to distinguish between the instructions LHLDFA00H and SHLDFA00H. So let's begin with the first instruction that is LHLDFA00H. Now we already have seen the usage of this instruction. However, we are to distinguish this instruction with SHLDFA00H. So let me illustrate what are the differences. Now notice the address mentioned in the instruction. FA00H. Now, say within the memory, in the memory location FA00 and in the consecutive memory location FA01, the values 3, 4, and 1, 2 are loaded. Since we are sending the address directly in the instruction itself, the microprocessor is bound to know which location it is going to. Now, in the instruction LHLD, as I told you earlier, the mnemonic stands for load HL pair using direct addressing. So we are talking about the HL register pair and the content of the first location will be loaded at the L extension of the HL register pair. Thereafter, the content of the consecutive memory location that is 1, 2 in this case is going to be loaded in the H part of the HL register pair. So clearly, LHLD will load the HL register pair with the content specified by the direct address from the memory locations. Do remember, the first memory location's content will be loaded into the L extension, whereas the second or the consecutive memory location's content will be loaded in the H part of the HL register pair. So that is all about the LHLD FA00H instruction. Let's now focus on the second instruction that is SHLDFA00H. The mnemonic in this case stands for store HL register pair with the direct address provided in the instruction. Now in order to illustrate this, say within the HL register pair we have got the value ABCD. Now remember, this value will have to be loaded before we execute this instruction. Now from the instruction itself, the microprocessor knows where to store from, so it will point to that location. Now the execution of this instruction will load the L part at first, that is CD will be loaded into the memory location FA00, and thereafter the content of the H part, that is the H register, which in this case is AB, will be loaded into the consecutive memory location, that is FA01. So this is all about SHLDFA00H. Remember, the first instruction is going to load the HL register pair using the content stored inside the FA00H location 
and the consecutive location FA01. The contents of the FA00 location will be loaded at first into the L extension, whereas the content of the next memory location that is FA01 will then be loaded into the H part of the HL register pair. On the other hand, for SHLD, which stands for Store HL Register Pair using Direct Addressing Mode, at first, the content of the L extension is going to be loaded into this location which is mentioned in the instruction itself. Thereafter, in the consecutive memory location, the contents of the H register is going to be stored. So with this, I believe you have understood all the differences between these four pairs of instructions. So in this session, we cover the topic, Solve Problems on Data Transfer Instructions. Alright people, that will be all for this session. In the upcoming session, we are going to solve few more problems. So I hope to see you in the next one. Thank you all for watching.